Hello my friends, welcome to another mini message. Today we're going to be talking about Matthew 13, 47 to 50, parable of the fishing net. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a fishing net that was thrown into the water and caught fish of every kind. When the net was full, they dragged it up onto the shore, sat down and sorted the good fish into crates, but threw the bad ones away. That is the way it will be at the end of the world. The angels will come and separate the wicked people from the righteous, throwing the wicked into the fiery furnace where, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow. God's always warning us, you know, through the whole Bible, right? With uh, That he's coming soon. The end, the end times are coming, right? And he's going to separate the good and the bad, right? The ones that did the will of God and the ones that didn't. The ones that came to the Jesus in faith comes, came to the word of God and the ones that didn't, they denied. They didn't want to come to the light, right? Because the word of God is the light and they stay in the darkness. So he's given an example all the time, you know, with the, all the parables, and he is telling us with the fishing net. He's going to have all the fish of the world. He's going to separate the good ones and the bad ones. And he's telling us here always, can you repeat number 49? That is the way it will be at the end of the world. The angels will come and separate the wicked people from the righteous. Yeah, the wicked for the righteous. Mm -hmm. The righteous, the ones that did the will of God, and the wicked people that didn't want to do the will of God. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you repeat number 50? Yeah. Throwing the wicked into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yeah. He's always talking about warning us about hell, right? The ones that don't do the will of God. And he, Jesus came for the whole world. To whoever believes in him will have eternal life, right? He wants everybody to, to come and repent. That's why he's, he's, having, he's being patient. But he's coming soon. So he's given us all warning us with the whole word of God, with all these parables, that he's going to separate the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. So let's come to him. Let's come to the light, come out of the darkness so the light can clean us up and make us good, right? You know, yeah, definitely. There are two choices. It, it's There's a way for the wicked and those for the righteous. And we know through reading the whole Bible that um, <clears throat> we are only made righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So it is by putting our faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross that we are made righteous or right standing with God. And, and so that's it. It's we come to Christ or we don't. We are either wicked or we are righteous. Mm -hmm. And um, again, it shows another underscoring that hell is real. It's a real place and there is, there, it is really not going to be a good place to go. Mm -hmm. And so we just need to heed the warning. And, and mm -hmm. we're all sinners. We're all wicked. That's what's mm -hmm. in our heart is nothing good. None of us are good. Mm -hmm. And so for the grace of God, he sent Jesus to save all of us, that we could be forgiven of our sins and that mm -hmm. we could be righteous. That when he looks at us, even though we are not perfect, that he sees the blood of Jesus when he looks at us. He sees righteous, righteousness. So it's not uh, to push people away, but rather so that we can see ourselves for what we really are as wicked and sinners. Mm -hmm. And that we have an opportunity to come and receive this incredible, amazing grace, this salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless Bye. you guys. Bye.